exactly what I'm going to demonstrate here. Um, is the mixing of greens within this particular palette. Um, but first I want to do a, a quick kind of demonstration um, relating to the idea of opacity versus transparency. And I'm gonna mix three, I'm gonna mix two neutral colors. One using the opaque colors. And in this color palette, mixing kind of the orange and the cobalt teal together because of where they exist on the color wheel, they really pass through greens. I can't really pass right through neutral. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of red into this. But what I'm going to try to do is mix the most neutral color I can that's dominated by these opaque colors. And I'm gonna place that mixture right in that neutral center of the color wheel. And <clears throat> next I'm gonna make a neutral out of my three transparents, Indian yellow, quinacridone red, and ultramarine blue. And you'll see just how much darker that is in value. And that's basically an opaque neutral and a transparent neutral. And really the main difference is that that's accounting for that value change is that with the opaque colors, the light is reflecting right off the surface of that mixture versus with the transparent, that light is penetrating into that paint layer and only a small amount of that light is reflecting back out of it. And so we're going to get a much greater value, um, depth and value with those dark values, mixing it with a transparent um, pigments rather than opaques. And this is a natural characteristic of the pigments themselves. Um, colors like cadmium, um, titanium white, the pigments that those titanium white or cadmium pigments are like, you know, beach balls versus marbles of Indian yellow and quinacridone red and ultramarine blue. So it's the size and shape of those pigments themselves that influence uh, the relative opacity or transparency of these colors. So simply put, like I try to build up a painting structure that incorporates um, transparent darks and opaque lights. And by doing that, I can really broaden the range of um, the value range of, of the paintings. You know, where do I want, where in the painting do I want the light to be absorbed? versus where do I want that light to reflect off the surface? And so, 
you know, I think about this as I've created my palette of colors. So I've got my Indian yellow or my Cad Yellow Light, Indian Yellow, Cadmium Orange, Quinacridone Red, Ultramarine Blue, and Cobalt Teal. So what I'm gonna do is, um, you know, and I alluded to this a, a little bit um, in previous um, sessions, but essentially the, uh, when we're looking at say mixing greens, for instance, and we wanna mix right into this green hue family here. Um, the closer any two colors are around the perimeter of the color wheel, the least amount of intensity or chroma will be lost in their mixtures. Whereas as those colors move farther away from each other, the more chroma will be lost in their mixtures. So, you know, another way to describe this is like, you know, complementary colors. Complementary colors can't live any farther away from each other around the color wheel. And so they pass right through that neutral center. So the same thing can be applied to say mixing greens. Um, and if I want the kind of greatest, um, highest chroma greens, I'm gonna start with the yellow and the green or the yellow and the blue that exist closest to each other. So the cad yellow light and the cobalt teal. And I can move within that line between them, create some you know, warm greens, kind of a medium green. and a blue-green. And then as the colors start to move away from each other, like the cobalt teal and Indian yellow. we start to um, <clears throat> kind of lower our chroma of the greens that we can mix. So think about them as kind of lines from one color to the next that we're mixing within. Mm -mm. We've got Cad Yellow Light and Ultramarine Blue.
And then the colors, the yellow and the blue that exist farthest away from each other are the Indian yellow and ultramarine blue. You know, Indian yellow has a very kind of orange bias to it. Ultramarine blue has a very violet bias. That orange and that violet are closest to red. Red being the complement of green is going to pull those mixtures closer to that neutral center of the color wheel. So here we've got Indian yellow. And the ultramarine blue. Not only are those colors more muted, I'll just include this middle mixture here, right in the center, but they're also deeper in value because of the inherent transparency of the Indian yellow and the ultramarine blue.